Hello real fans, East Coast Real Ventures here bringing you another different video. In this video I will be explaining why the New Jersey Transit's Paxcac Valley line sucks and how they should fix it. Let's go. P.S. This is why I may never be able to rail fan the line in general. For context, the Paskak Valley Line service is a New Jersey transit line that runs from Hoboken Terminal to Spring Valley in New York. It is the second shortest line in the entire system, only second to the Meadowland Shuttle from Secaucus to Meadowlands. The reason why this particular line is the worst line in the system in my opinion is because of weak ridership, single track, and despite it being the shortest in the system, it takes nearly an hour to traverse half the route. Weak ridership is caused by the stations on the line being too close together. It literally is on a single track and it has too many stops just for one city. If you looked on the New Jersey Transit map, it has three stops for one semi-small city, Hackensack. I know you might say I'm overreacting here, but in my honest opinion, you should only have one stop per city, then move on. This however is a different case for the Gladstone Morristown line because it has four different stops for Orange. Orange has four different areas and boroughs, which is why Orange has four stops. It also, like the other former Erie lines, terminates at Hoboken, not entering New York City. Riders going to New, New York City must have to transfer at Secaucus Junction, which is a mild inconvenience, but it's mostly workable. Moving on to service, it is good for the majority of the day, but up until somewhere between 4.30 and 5.00 p.m., service stops completely until past 9.00 p.m. and almost 10.00 o'clock p.m. Yes, there is indeed an approximately 5-hour gap of service. No service during rush hour whatsoever or past. Service is normal for only for trains to Spring Valley and then it only runs one or two trains back to Hoboken or to Spring Valley from somewhere between 9.30 and 10 p.m. to midnight. And by the way, the only reason it takes almost an hour to traverse half the route is because stops are too close together and it takes a while because trains are constantly stopping. Electrification is the first logical solution along with high performance EMUs or electric multiple units. EMUs such as the Arrow 3s can accelerate much faster than diesel locomotives and are much better suited for close station spacing. The line should also receive more passing sidings to future proof the line for more service. This will increase frequency by a small amount and reduce the long run time to Hoboken. Two track construction would also be a valid solution because as I said earlier, the Pascac Valley line is a single track line. If a second track was built, it would make trains arrive faster rather than taking a longer time to switch the train around and go back to Hoboken from Spring Valley all over again. It would also add a lot more reliable schedules and trains would be a lot more frequent from Hoboken to Spring Valley and back. However, more sidings is really the only realistic option. There is really no space for a full length double track, nor does the line have development intense enough for, for such high speed service levels permitted by a full double track. Station gaps and extensions would also be useful because if an extension were to happen, reactivation of the northern branch or at least up to Nyack, maybe up to Newburgh would be really useful. All trains already connect to Secaucus and nowhere else other than Hoboken. It's literally just a straight line from Secaucus to Spring Valley. A station gap would be needed to the section of stations in Hackensack because why have three stations for one city when you could have one more populous one at the center? Plus it's between the stations, Andrew Street and Exit Street, it's literally a five minute drive and for some reason it takes a train around 30 minutes to get to either stop. Also, the third station, New Bridge Landing Station, or, well, formerly known as Northern Hackensack, also in Hackensack, from, from Anderson Street Station, it's a six-minute drive. And for another odd reason, it can take a train 15 minutes to get to either station. My suggestion, however, would be to tear down all three stations, and since they're not even two miles apart, build a larger station at the halfway point. Though it would be a, a slightly longer drive, it would take trains less time, 
therefore taking riders less time to progress through the city. By the way, after Hackensack, service to Spring Valley is completely normal and onto River Edge and other cities beyond until Spring Valley. In conclusion, the PVL sucks, and in this video, I presented to you why it sucks and ways it can be fixed. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, you can always like and comment, or you can up and unsubscribe at any time. Thanks again for watching, and see you soon.